Hey friends, we're back with another video and today we are going to be making a corset top. So the first thing I'm doing is cutting and sketching out my pattern. I did measure myself and just use my own artistic skills for my brain. After I've cut out all my pattern pieces, I'm going to cut the shirt in half. I did get the shirt from Walmart. It was only $5 and I'm using the pattern pieces that I made myself to cut and make sure everything comes out right i do want to share my patterns with you all but i am trying to learn how to upload it and make sure it comes out correctly so i'm working on that guys i really am working on it but i'm sure you guys are artistic and should be able to use this video for reference to make your own patterns so i'm going to do the same thing with another piece of fabric that i'm going to use as my lining to be able to add my boning so the boning pieces I did get from Joann's and I'm going to show you guys that later. You can use any fabric for your lining, but it should be kind of sturdy. Next thing I'm going to do is sew all of the pieces together inside out, of course, so it can look neat. And I'm going to do the same thing for my lining. Once again, any fabric can be used for the lining. After that, this is how it should look. And you can iron it down if you want to before pinning your boning. But I didn't decide to do that because this fabric for this shirt was pretty stretchy. So I pinned it down and sewed it on there exactly how it looks. Sure, you're being careful because it is a little hard and you can mess up your needle and sewing machine. Once everything is sewn, it should look like this. Then you're going to add your lining and sew it all the way down. But make sure you leave an opening so you can be able to flip it inside out. So now you're going to sew your lining in. Make sure you leave it an opening once again. I do suggest leaving it where you are going to add your grommets or eyelets. So once you sew that all in, you're going to take your opening and flip it inside out. It should look something like this once you flip it inside out. It should give it a neater look and you shouldn't be able to see you know, any mess ups if you didn't make any mistakes. So after that, with your opening, you're going to close it. You're going to do a top stitch. I wasn't able to record it, but you're going to also sew down your boning after you do your top stitch. So you can be able to keep your boning in place. So once you do all of those steps, you're going to then take your grommet trim and add it or you can use your hammer and nails and all of that extra stuff and add the eyelets manually so this is how it turned out this was so cute for my first try i'm gonna get better at it but i really did love it it looked amazing if you guys have any questions or concerns please leave comments in the comment section please like comment subscribe and thank you all for watching